Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome back once again to Fate Zero. We will be watching episodes 6 and 7 today. And last time on Fate Zero, oh man, the first battles of the Fourth Holy Grail War. Of course, we kicked it off with arguably one of the best battles in all of Fate history, that being Saber versus Lancer. We got well acquainted with the Fate character, for which my channel is named. And we got to see just how truly honor and strength bound both Saber and Lancer are when it comes to their battles, and they got well acquainted with each other. But before their battle could reach its conclusion, it was interrupted by Ryder. Iskandar, King of Conquerors, making himself known to the Grail War. Also making himself known, Gilgamesh, exclaiming that he is the one true king, that all of these other servants are nothing but mongrels. And then of course, as well, showing himself Berserker, Karya trying to take advantage and humiliate Tokuyomi, which in a way he did because because Tokiomi was forced to use a command seal on Gilgamesh to force him to retreat. Which of course then, Berserker strangely went straight after Saber as soon as Archer had left. But before that battle could continue, Kanith, Lancer's master, used a command seal as well to force Lancer to help Berserker destroy Saber. Which almost worked if it wasn't once again thanks to Ryder, interrupting the battle and trampling Berserker, forcing Lancer to retreat at the behest of Kanith. With that crazy battle out of the way, we now will go into an interesting turn, as Castor was watching the entire fight, claiming that he has found his true maiden, his holy virgin, as we see an image of Saber. What could that mean? Well, might not be what you expect, and I can't wait, so let's just get right into these episodes. I saw a comment on this episode, it's just like, this first part is just initial D, and well, yeah. Of all the toys Kiritsugu has brought me over the years, this is my absolute favorite. This is a toy? <laughs> Try not to Doctor Strange yourself. This looks so good, man. That 2D, 3D blend. Already. It's a servant. Not just any servant. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, I love Caster's theme. My sweet and holy virgin. Ugh. <laughs> I've never laid eyes on him. Oh no! Are you saying that you've forgotten my face? You mistake me for another. Is it a mistake? Gilles de Ray, my darling! Gilles de Ray. My Jean. Jean. I feel like she should be familiar with Jean de Arc. I see memes of just like, Saber must actually really be offended the fact that this man is mistaking her for a French woman. I mean, if you're familiar with Fate at all, I mean, I can't exactly blame him for mistaking Saber for Jean. The amount of characters that are just Saber copy and pasted over the course of the series. Upon my beautiful maiden, such horrible injustices! Enough! You embarrass yourself! My one and only eternal wish, the resurrection of Jean d'Arc, has finally been granted! <laughs> the next strike will be real. Are Just kill him. <laughs> this guy, man. It's very difficult to deal with one who ignores everything that you are saying. <laughs> who are you speaking of? Karitsu? We found Castor as well. Of course. Assassin. Follow him. Damn the no, grippers. No. We must erect a veritable tower of Babel of human sacrifice. <laughs> I love the guy who voices him. It's I always get the two mixed up. It's either the guy who voices Supreme Kai in Dragon Ball, or it's the guy who voices Hohenheim in Full Metal Alchemist. Whichever one, I will put that voice up right now. Like I've continuously praised every voice in the, every single dub voice in Fade Zero is phenomenal. I'm just giving credit. You made me waste a command seal, and yet you couldn't finish the job, idiot. <laughs> Was your encounter with Saber really that much fun for you? It wasn't like that, Master. Yes, it was. Aren't you the one who's mistaken here? Yes. Lord El Malloy. The female characters in Fate Zero are so good. No, Solo. Actually did well. I actually know her full name. I think. Oh, no, I don't. I remember Salau something Sophia Re. There's something in the middle I don't remember. You merely stayed hidden and watched. Rather pathetic. <laughs> Based. You made a special alteration to the usual master servant pact that no one other than I knows anything about. You control command seals, and I act as an additional master and supply the servant mana. Mm. So you'll hide while you 
make Lancer take all the risks. All right, that's enough of that. Any more will be an insult to my master. <laughs> As a knight, I cannot allow it. Remember what Diarmuid said in the last couple episodes? About his mole power it has. Just keep that in mind as we go forward. There's a fire on the lower levels. It can't be anything but an act of arson, of course. A perfect workshop requiring an entire floor. 24 <laughs> layered barriers, three mana generators, dozens of ghosts and spirits roaming as guard dogs. It's like the hotel in Chainsaw Men. <laughs> I shall make you retract your statement that I am pathetic very shortly. Yeah, if only you knew Saber's master. <laughs> Mr. Kenneth Elmaloy Archibald! Both Kenneth Elmaloy Archibald and his wife, Solau, have exited. A little magecraft there. Yep. I love how Kuritsuku does things, man. I could watch a whole show of just him doing jobs. Boom. Fucking hell. <laughs> yes, the ultimate mage workshop. A bomb. Saved him from that. Uh huh. Maya, withdraw. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> to blow up the entire building. Get away. I can't believe a mage would actually do something like that. Don't make me stand here doing all the talking, woman. <laughs> One word from you will suffice. Instead of you. Yeah, her familiar. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> Black Keys. There's no way she threw this gas canister. It's interesting. Just that little scene, just like, there's no way she threw this. Kiritsugu was there, even if just for a moment. This early in the war, it wouldn't make sense for him to fight Kirei. Especially just because, as far as everyone's concerned, he's out. We learned that Castor and his master have kidnapped children from their beds. By dawn, they had taken 15. Sheesh. A mad servant out of control. And a master who doesn't even try to control him. Why are people like them participating in the Grail War? Ask the Grail. And we can't send my assassin without exposing our deception. It's a little late for that, but yeah. We'll have all of the masters work as a group to defeat Castor. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, yes! <laughs> there are far fewer bottles here than in Tokiomi's room, but of higher quality. I love when these two talk. He's just drinking the communion wine. <laughs> Tokiomi invited me to this world and maintains my form here, but I never expected that he'd be such a dull and boring person. <laughs> so you I am full of love for this universe that is my personal playground. <laughs> I have no interest in realms outside my dominion. This root of yours does not concern me in the least. What the other masters seek is one form or another of success here in the material world. <laughs> Prestige, desires, power. That suits me fine. You are a king who rules over the profane and the vulgar, <laughs> Gilgamesh. So just it says it to his face. You? That was an amazing scene, just especially from like a technical standpoint. What do you want from the Holy Grail? Nothing. I have no real desire for it. I seriously doubt that. Then why not simply wish for something like joy? Ridiculous. Wish for joy? You'd ask me to long for something that blasphemous and sinful? <laughs> Such That's an emo child. Far. Joy is another quality that I lack. I seek it, but never find it. Kire Kotomine. <laughs> I find myself interested in you. The majority of the episode is this scene, I love it. You have yet to see what form your soul has taken. That's what it actually means when you claim that you lack joy in your life. You're just a mere servant. <laughs> you dare sit there and lecture me? Don't get cocky, Mongrel. You ought to learn what pleasure is. Look first mm -hmm. to the outside. Your task is to keep watch over the five other masters, isn't that correct? You should investigate not only their plans, but their motivations for obtaining the Grail as well. And mm. give that information to me. I've already told you, I enjoy watching humans. One or two of them are sure to be interesting enough to keep me entertained for a while. See, that's why I love Gilgamesh, man. We're similar in that regard. It's like, we don't necessarily like to involve ourselves. We just like to watch the chaos. If I can learn about him, will I also be able to learn <laughs> what it is I seek as well? Him. Kiritsugu. Emiya. Oh, man. 
That's one of my See more... Again. It's a... Yeah, this whole half of the episode was just that one scene. Yeah, that's one of the more underrated episodes, in my opinion. Mainly that scene. Because, I mean, that's the scene that'll spark a lot going into the future. Episode 7. Hey, evil Lex. What is that? <laughs> Looks like an enormous ball of mercury, doesn't it? It's almost as if the damn it's thing... It's Bosch. <laughs> What's the matter? Is something- Load that thing onto the truck! Quickly! <laughs> what did Kiritsuku say? It's like there's no magic veil that could save you from a free fall like that. Well... I am temporarily altering the rules of the Grail <laughs> War. And the one who succeeds in defeating Castor and his master will receive an additional command seal as their reward. <laughs> These are the unused command I love seals that. left behind by the fallen masters of past Grail Wars. That the elusive missing master, Lord Elmaloy, is still very much alive. Indeed. <laughs> and the archer must be the one to deal the final blow. But will he, um, though? Is this the Mackenzie residence? I have a delivery. Yes, that is the name of this domicile's residence. <laughs> My signature? Very well. So massive. You have my thanks. Alexander. Yes! <laughs> Hold on. I wore this in the first couple episodes, but you couldn't really see it. I should have waited. Fuck. But I also have an admirable shirt. Wait, the quote. To have the entire world emblazoned across my chest. <laughs> yes, to have the entire world emblazoned across my chest. Man, I've had this shirt for a long time, man. Grand admirable strategy. Ah, the goat, man. I should have gotten it like two sizes smaller just so it's tight. At least put on some pants before you go out. Mm. Oh, yes, like it. <laughs> Do you swear that once I defeat one of the other servants, you will go and buy me a modern pair of pants so that I can go outside? <laughs> You really want to put on the clothes and go walking out <laughs> The true motivation the for the Grail. Oh my god, I love Ryder so much. This means that there are four locations in Fuyuki that have all the spiritual characteristics needed for the Grail to appear. Is there anything that you aren't clear on? I understand perfectly. It was an adequate explanation. Adequate. He believes that our saber is actually his Jean d'Arc, which is to our benefit. We need only wait for him to come to us. We should take the fight straight to him before he can do any more damage. That's not his style. The masters and servants hunting Castor in a frenzy will make excellent targets for us. To what depths do you intend to sink in your pursuit? You do insult to heroic spirits. Why do you not allow me to go out and fight? This overseer of ours can't be trusted. He harbors Assassin's Master in his church and doesn't say anything about it to anyone. He's just ignoring oh. Saber. That's... Oh, man. That's why Kiritsugu, honestly, he's one of my favorites, but it's this kind of stuff where those two clash of ideologies. Saber, so honor-bound, and wants to fight using that honor, but then there's Kiritsugu, who's... he's an assassin. He's one using those methods. So going into the future... Those two ideologies will clash, which again, it's a lot of the big themes of Fate Zero, the clash of ideologies, which I love it. If I decided to abandon everything and simply run away from all of this, Iri, would you consider coming with me? But what about Ilya? I'd give all I have for you and Ilya and no one else. We could escape if we go now. You're lying. <laughs> That's a lie. You could never run away from this. No. Nope. You would never forgive yourself. You would eventually kill yourself. She I'm knows scared. him so well. Kirei Kotomine is after me. <laughs> but the most dangerous of them all has already set his sights on me. The one that I had hoped to never cross paths with. I love that he's I afraid of him. Kiritsuko. An attack. It's an interesting scene, especially coming from, like, their planning segment, where is just so stoic and just like, this is how we're gonna do it, to then this. And it's cool, because it's like, it's only with Irie, it's just like, he's that vulnerable. Like, there's that part of him that just wants to run away from it all, but, like, he's already too deep into it. And plus, like Irie says, you'd be filled with guilt. It's interesting looking back on this scene, in hindsight. It's just sad, because he genuinely does love Irie and Elia. Him. Just as I promised you last night. <laughs> He's a caster. I, Ray, have come for you, my darling. Now, children, it's time for us to play some hide and seek. 
The rules are simple. You need only to elude me. But if I find you... No, don't! <laughs> Fucking hell. Saber, go! It's such a thing with Kiritsugo. It's just his eyes as well. The soul is gone. It's the same with, like, Sakura's eyes. Which is, like, so much shit has happened where he's just, like, it's glazed over. It's gone. It's already too late. Welcome, fair Jean. How do you like this horrible sight, child? You should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. God's devout messenger says that she will save you from the fate of your departed friend. Yeah. Cthulhu Valunga. <laughs> Fucking tentacle porn. She controls the wind. How beautiful! Oh, holy virgin! Even God's beauty pales before you. Fucking starfish. Not Patrick. And yeah. At least one of the other masters is certain to have had the same idea. It appears that another one has arrived. Is there no end to his mana? <laughs> no. Possible. Caster. The source of his mana is. So that book is your noble phantasm? It brings back memories, doesn't it? Everything is just <laughs> as it was then. Oh, this music cue. You still chose to remain God puppet! <laughs> so... Mm. Oh. <laughs> Such swordsmanship is unworthy of the title King of Knights. Oh, uh, thanks, Vegeta. It will be my lance alone that takes Saber's life. It's literally Vegeta. No one kills Kakarot while I'm around. Destiny has reserved that pleasure for me. But I mean, Lancer's here, so safe to assume who else is. I, Diarmut, will never allow you to defeat a crippled Saber in any sort of battle before I can. <laughs> and so, I believe cooperation is our best option. Right? I love these two, man. Fervor. Me sanguis. Uh, Kenneth. I love his powers. His little amoeboid. Mage of the Einsberg, come forth and let us duel for possession of the Holy Grail with our lives and our sacred honor. <laughs> Time to back up that talk, big boy. Have you fallen so low, Einsberg? Yeah, still thinks it's Iris. I found you, pathetic rat. Yes. Time alter. Double accelerate. Oh, I love this ability. Time alter. He manipulated the flow of time to greatly accelerate himself by using his own body as a reality marble. First mention of a reality marble. I wonder if we'll see more of those. <laughs> if you saw the video I uploaded this weekend, the Kiritsugu versus Spike Spiegel, I talked in great detail about Kiritsugu's time alter. It's one of my favorite abilities, man. Even though it's so simple, if you watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners, you know, the uh, the Sand Devastant, that ability, Sand Devastan, however you pronounce it. Boy goes fast. Time alter. Triple stagnate. Stopped his heart. If I can slow my internal time to a third, they can't sense me. Nice. Kanan. Interesting that he called him out. But there's a reason for that. <sighs> what a cutoff. Jeez. Things are really starting to kick off now. Well, that was episode six and seven of Fate Zero. We're going into an underrated segment for me personally, because, you know, again, like I've talked about before, a lot of people really remember, like, the, the second half of Fate Zero more than the first half, but this little battle segment here, like, in the Dark Forest, you know, Saber and Lancer fighting Caster, Kiritsugu fighting Kirei, and then other fights we'll get to later. Again, it's one of my favorite parts of Fate Zero. It's like, you always have, like, the main big battle that's happening, like, between the servants, but then it's like the little battles that are like off to the side between like the masters and other stuff. It's why I'll always love Fate Zero and like the combat and the story more than any of the Fate Stay Night stuff. Cause yeah, you can argue Fate Stay Night has maybe better... I don't know. <laughs> I'll still say, I love all the stuff in Fate Stay Night for its own reasons. But Fate Zero overall is a collective just package of story, characters, animation, fights, music. It's perfection for me. It's everything I look for in a dark fantasy tale. 
especially in anime. But yeah, whew, that time alter, man. Again, it's a simple ability. It's just like he goes faster. I mean, it's just those intricacies. It's not just that he goes faster. You know, he's using his own internal clock. He's using a reality marble in a way as just a normal person, which we'll get into reality marbles later and how it's like, that's honestly an amazing feat as just a normal person. It's like the peak of magecraft. By all accounts, Kaneth should win this fight just based off of magical skill. But obviously, Kuritsugu has a lot more than just magic powers. He's got those book smarts and those street smarts. And also just that stuff with Saber and Lancer again. Just making that whole Vegeta comparison. It's like, no one kills Saber but me. Again, I just love the interactions between those two. It's a rivalry relationship, which again, I love those kind of stories. Yeah, it's why I love Goku and Vegeta so much. You're not my friend. I'll never call you friend, but I respect you enough to fight side by side with you because I don't want you to die to this person. But yeah, holy crap, man. Just Still got a lot left to cover when it comes to fate, and I just can't wait to get into the rest of it, so. Thank you all for joining me for this reaction to episodes 6 and 7 of Fate Zero. Join me next time for episodes 8 and 9, as well as everything else that'll be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.